Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Matt and today we're going to be talking about the Blickman beer gun. We're going to be talking about setup, uh, cleaning, uh, using it, benefits, pros, cons, and uh, the work. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So this is the Blickman beer gun out of the packaging. Uh, if you've just stumbled upon this video or you're just curious to know what this product does, uh, this is a way to move beer from a keg to bottles while avoiding oxygen pickup. So that's really the whole point of this product. Uh, pretty much what you're seeing now is what's included in the packaging, except one item, which I'll mention in a second, is you have the Blickman beer gun. You have a liquid line here. And the liquid line also comes with a screw-on connector with a corny keg uh, liquid out connector. You also get a carrying case. You get instructions. You get placement O-rings, and then you get a cleaning wand for the, uh, the tube. The other thing that's included is the gas line, and that's already set up in my kegerator. The product does come mostly assembled. How I received it is the gun was all intact, and you just had to connect the liquid lines uh, to the Blickman beer gun. So all we had to do is connect the liquid line into the, uh, the liquid metal tube, which is just pressure fit on there. When you're installing this, make sure not to go over the, uh, these metal clips here because this is, this is how you take it apart as you lift this up. So make sure to not go all the way to the back. You just need enough. And then the gas line you can connect to your CO2 regulator in your kegerator. To quickly go over how to operate this, and we're going to go over a live demo in just a second, is there are two triggers here. There is a liquid uh, uh, pressure release here, and then there is a gas release here by pressing on this. When you pull this trigger, it just releases this little rubber stopper, and this releases the liquid out. And then the gas as well, when you press on this here, it releases gas at the bottom of the line. I did want to demonstrate how you would install this on your regulator. So typically, if you have a uh, two output regulator on your CO2 tank, is you'd have one that connects to your CO2 manifold, which then this manifold connects to your kegs. And then your other one, your other open slot here, this would be a designated uh, port for the Blickman beer gun. Now this, what I have here is a pressure fitted nozzle. So this uh, tubing stays in the kegerator at all times. I just kind of wrap it around this, but if you have connected here one that screws on and off, then you can obviously just screw this on the day you plan on using it. Next, we're gonna go over how to connect the beer gun to the keg. So what you wanna first is take a look at your serving pressure. So I actually do about six PSI for serving pressure. When using the Blickman beer gun, if you look on the instructions, it recommends six PSI. Uh, but I think that also assumes that people are using 12 PSI on their kegs. Um, if I were to do this with uh, using 6 PSI with the Blickman beer gun, you generate a lot of foam. So it also says in the directions that you want to just uh, perform this using half the PSI that you would typically use. So since I have 6 PSI on my kegs, I want to reduce the pressure in my keg to around 3 PSI when using the beer gun. I reduce the pressure to around 3 PSI. While that is refilling up with gas, we can go over to the beer gun, and I'll show you what I do for my first step. What I, what I like to do for the first step is I like to run a little bit of sanitizer through these lines. The easiest way to do this is if you have a spare keg laying around, is you fill the keg with a little bit of star sand, you hook up the beer gun to that keg full of star sand, and then you just run star sand through this as, as if you were uh, using it for beer. I don't have a spare keg laying around, so what I typically do is I just spray a little bit of star sand in this, and then I just hold the trigger down, and then I kind of let gravity push the star sand through the tubing. In the directions, it doesn't say that you need to do that, but I always feel more comfortable uh, sanitizing my equipment before using it for, uh, for bottling. You want to make sure that this is screwed on tight because once you once you connect this to the kegerator, uh, this will start spraying a beer through this line. Um, so you want to make sure that the connections are connected uh, nice and tight. So we're going to use this keg. So we're going to disconnect this beer line here. 
We're next going to want to sanitize the, uh, the liquid out connector. So I have a spray bottle of star sand. So we're going to spray that off here. Now that's been sanitized, we can now connect the beer gun to the keg using that connector. And as you can see, a bunch of beer just shot into the line. The last thing I got to do before we're ready for operation is to connect my gas line to the beer gun. So like I mentioned before, this is always connected to my gas regulator. So we're just going to take this gas line here. And we're going to connect this to the Blickman beer gun. After that's been connected, you want to make sure you open up the line to allow gas to uh, fill up the Blickman beer gun and be able to purge the keg. So we're going to open up that line there. So now at this point, we have a bunch of uh, air and beer in this line. We want to make sure that we get all the air out of this line. So we just have beer flowing. This will help uh, reduce oxidation in the first pour and also reduce foaming in the first pour. So what you want to do is you want to grab a jug or a cup or really anything and you want to uh, just stick this in there and then squeeze the liquid line just to purge the line of any air. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Okay. So now that it's purged of air, you can see that there is beer in the entire line, which is what you want to see. So lastly, we are ready to fill the bottle up. The first thing we want to do is take our beer gun and put it into the bottle. And you want to first purge the bottle of any oxygen. So that's what this, uh, this uh, lever is for here. So once we press this, it's going to fill up the bottle with CO2. We're going to hold this for about five seconds. After five seconds, we can release that valve, and I like to press up on it with my thumb just to make sure the valve is closed all the way. Next is we just want to pull the trigger to fill the bottle up with beer. Um, one thing to note, it's best to use two hands with this and tilt the bottle at just an angle so the, uh, the, the tip of the beer gun gets submerged faster. That way you get less foam in the, in the bottle. If you do get excess foam, then what I'd recommend doing is to check the pressure in the, kegger, in the uh, keg and reduce the pressure by a few points. The uh, bottle will fill up slower, but you will have less foam. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. So after it's full, you can release the the uh, beer gun and pull the beer gun out. And then we're gonna set it back in our growler. And there you have it. That's how you use the beer gun. And we are all bottled up. Uh, the last thing we gotta do is my least favorite part and that is cleaning the beer gun. So we're going to jump into that. Okay, so the last part of this process is cleaning the beer gun. I have just simply unplugged it from the keg, so there's still a bunch of beer in the line. I don't know if you can tell, but there is a bunch of beer in the line. Um, so the proper way to clean this is to take this apart. And this is my one complaint that I have with this product, is that it's easy to disassemble, but in order to disassemble it, uh, this pressure fitting has to be cut. I don't know how they would do it, but I would hope that, you know, in the future iterations of this product, they can engineer some part here where it's easy to take this on and off. Uh, because right now I would have to cut this back and just cut it every single time that I wanted to fully clean this device. So this is kind of a um, do as I say, not as I do moment. Uh, because what they would say is to uh, unplug this push this out and I can kind of show you. So this comes apart relatively easily is you just take this apart right here and then you can just pull this right through. But uh, I can't do that because as you can see, uh, this stops me from pulling it all the way through. So I'm gonna kind of clean this as it's still assembled. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the easiest way to do this is if you have a spare keg lying around. Um, if you have a spare keg lying around that you can fill up with hot star sand or PBW and then star sand, the easiest way to do this would just be fill that up, fill it full of CO2, put this on, and then just run star sand or, CO or um, P 
PBW through this, but I don't have that luxury of having a spare keg laying around. So we're gonna clean this uh, kind of while this is still all attached. So the way I do uh, do this cleaning is to first clear the beer out of the line. So we're gonna first take apart the uh, take off this, which will open up air into this line. Make sure to do this over, any, over a sink because there is gonna be some built up pressure in this line. So we took that out and we can rinse this off here. So once that's rinsed off, then you have a beer, you know, line full of, uh, full of beer. So the next thing you wanna do is just release this pressure so the beer can run through this, uh, the beer gun. And then what you wanna do is what I typically do is I awkwardly lift this tube up and kind of let gravity push the beer through the beer line. So now there should not be any beer left in this line. You just have to run some water through this. And then what I do to finish it is I pour a bunch of star sand down this line and while holding the pressure. I kind of just awkwardly let gravity take care of the cleaning for me. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So it's, it's full of water. We're gonna let gravity kind of run through this way and clear up the lines. And we're gonna do that a few more times. And that was a good wash right there. And we're gonna just do it one more time. And as you can see, a bunch of water's coming out of the beer gun. So now, we should have washed this as water. The last thing I do, I spray some star stand down this line and I do the exact same thing. And then the last thing you gotta do is just clean this nozzle here. So we're just gonna run some hot water over this. Give it a good wash. And then we're good to go for the uh, next round. So that really concludes the main section of my video. I do want to spend just a minute talking about the product and my thoughts. Um, overall, I do think the product is easy to use. Uh, the only uh, problem I have with it, like you just saw, is the cleaning portion. I really wish in future iterations that they would find a way to engineer where the liquid line connects so we wouldn't have to cut it back um, every single time you wanted to do a deep clean. Um, otherwise, we can just do kind of like the quick and dirty method like I showed you, just running water through it and letting gravity do the work. Uh, like I mentioned before, if you have a spare keg lying around, there's a really easy way to clean it, but I just don't have that. So really, that's my only gripe with the product. Besides that, I believe this product is $100, and this is the second version of the product. Um, I see people that do competitions um, that submit these beers. is definitely going to be useful because reducing that oxygen pickup is going to be key in competition. Um, if you're just brewing for friends and family, that's entirely up to you. There are simpler ways to move beer from uh, beer from the kegs to bottles. You can simply just pour in from the tap into the bottle, though you are gonna get oxygen pickup that way. And then another way you can do it, and this is the cheaper route, is you can buy uh, one of these guys here. And this is specifically for my taps. I have Perlick taps. Um, so this is for a Perlick tap. So this is just a pressure fitting I can push into uh, the tap handle. Um, and then I can simply just run this down the bottle and then just, just turn the tap on and off and you can fill it up that way. Um, the only difference between this and a beer gun is the CO2. Um, so this is essentially a beer gun just without the CO2 pre um, purging the bottle. Anyway, I hope you liked the video and uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.